Yeah, I'm writing a new GUI D. Yep. Look what I just found out of a fucking treasure chest. <laughs> it actually happened. Players 1 Burrin. There it is. Run 102. Unique Shaco. Right there. The question is, it better not fucking be ethereal, dude. Or I'm fucking pissed. It's not ethereal. Oh shit, I can use it. Hey guys, in this video I'm just gonna go over like some basic magic find stuff. Um, basically I just kind of break it down. So boss runs, this would be like Endarial in the Vect 1. Um, nobody really does the royalty in the Vect 2. Mephisto in the Vect 3. This is like your bread and butter. Typically uh, Mephisto hell runs. If your character is pretty good, efficient at it, then they're great runs. Um, Mephisto drops like 95% of sets and EX in the entire game, and they're pretty consistent drops uh, relative to anything else you could be doing in the game. Mephisto is like... Without Mephisto, the game would look completely different, to be honest. Anyway, uh, Diablo in the Vact 4 and Bell in the Vact 5. Uh, these, these two runs typically take a lot stronger characters, pretty good gear, um, but Mephisto doesn't take too much gear. Uh, other than that, like super uniques, this would be like your Pindle Skin runs, or like Eldritch Shank from Fridge of Thailand's uh, Travancore runs, uh, maybe like Griswold and Rackney Shoe and Act 1 Stonyfield. Uh, these aren't nearly as consistent as, say, getting uniques and sets specifically targeted ones than, say, like running Mephisto or Endorial, but they can drop, and in some cases they can drop almost every item in the game. Very good. Uh, Travancore, very good for runes. High runes, one of the best places to get high runes if you just do tons and tons of Travancore runs, but you have to keep in mind and keep your expectations. Uh, you, you, could, you could do Travancore for probably like 12 hours straight and not see a single high rune, or even like maybe even like 20 hours straight and not see a single high rune. That wouldn't be the craziest. It's High runes are absurdly rare. Um, what else? You got like your standard like dungeon runs. This would be like uh, the pits in Act 1, which can drop every item and every rune in the game. Uh, Ancient tunnels, same thing in the Lost City in Act 2. Uh, then you got other runs like... Um, Cows, really good for like, I don't know, like Javazon. They're really good for runes and just a wide variety of, of different items. Uh, like Lightning Sentry, Death Sentry, Assassin, pretty good for cows. Uh, what else we got? Then you got like your top tier stuff, like I said before, Chaos Sanctuary slash Diablo, and then uh, Throne of Destruction slash Bell Runs, which is just a good everything, including experience, those two runs specifically. They're just good, period. Um, other than that, like, rune-targeted farming, you could do, uh, this one's an interesting run, so this is the lower cross chest farming. Um, basically, you're looking for this campfire, and you can have up to two of these per, uh, layout. And whenever you have the campfire, you go to the right, there's a chest here, notice how many items dropped out of that, and then you got two more up here, and they drop a bunch of items. Uh, more players, the more loot these chests are gonna drop. So typically more chances that they get high runes, and these are good for getting things like, like jewels, charms, gems as well. You can actually use like meth runs or something. I've run a good amount of these now, and I can say I'm player as one. It's pretty worth it. These are really good runs. But if you're doing like Mephisto runs, you maybe you do like a lower cross run at the start, or if you really can stomach it, just open chests for you know 10 hours straight, and you'll probably walk away with a high rune or two. Do recommend if you're just looking for high runes to do lower cross. Now, Mephisto, good for dropping sets and uniques, as you can see here. Get a unique. I'll do an Endorial run as well, show you what that's like. Simple, fast, efficient runs. And when you're playing on battle on that, you're not, you're not going to have this uh, mini map revealed and playing on single player, so I get to keep my static maps. But on battle on that, that won't be the case. But they're still very fast runs if you're playing a uh, Sork. Or something with a lot of run speed. That's Andariel run. No lux, but keep your expectations low and just churn out a bunch of runs. Over a large volume of runs, say like a hundred meph runs, a hundred Andariel runs, you'll see drops for sure. I mean, especially if you have, you know, a fair bit of magic find. Then you got like a pendle skin run, I'll show you. And this guy can drop pretty much every item in the game, minus like three. So it's a pendle skin run. 
but like I said about expectations, like Shaco, for example, with I think this character has like 400 magic find. Shaco off Mephisto for this to drop is like one in 700. For that to drop off Pendle Skin is like one in like 40,000 or something. It's, it's something absurd, like in comparison. It's just like the boss killing specifically for targeted uniques and sets is just so much better than um, just like farming, say, Pendle Skin over and over again, hoping for a Shaco to drop. Uh, what else? I'll do the like, Ancient Tunnels run, show you what that kind of run is. Let's just jump in here, blah blah blah. Any item in the game can drop in here. It's just, like I said, I could run this place for a week straight and not see, say, like Death's Fathom or something I, I desire on this character. So. Those are pretty much the types of runs that you do. And depending on your build, or even who you're playing with, uh, can dictate kind of like where you're farming. Like typically when you have a group, it's great to run uh, like Chaos Sanctuary and Bell Runs because you're gonna have a wide array of different uh, damage types and not just, you know, maybe one or two. So that's pretty much it. Just kind of like a little overview of Magic Finding in Diablo 2. Also it helps to have a lot of Magic Find on your character. More is always better, but it does have diminishing returns and I typically say around like, I don't know, 300, 400% when you start getting that, then you probably should just worry about doing more damage or um, being able to maneuver your runs faster through like cast speed or movement speed or whatever. Anyway, that's about it. Hopefully any of that information was useful. Cool. Thanks.